If you want to get better FPS and better ping in the new Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix, you clicked on the right video. Because in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stop those annoying FPS drops and stutters. I know a lot of you that's been playing the new Chapter 2 Remix have been getting a lot of stutters and random FPS drops. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix them. Even if you're playing on a low-end PC, these tips will still help you boost your FPS. So make sure you drop a like on this video and comment down below if these tips helped you. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your Epic Games Launcher, go to Library, and click on these three dots right here next to Fortnite, press manage, and verify your game files. So by verifying your Fortnite, all it's going to do is make sure that all your cache files are cleared, and it's going to make sure your game is fully rendered and up to date. So after you verify your game files, you want to go back to these three dots, go to options, and then you're going to see all these check boxes here. So you want to uncheck save the world and high resolution textures. The reason why you want to uncheck those is because they're both 14 gigabytes and I doubt most of you even play save the world anyways. And you shouldn't be on high resolution textures because you should be on performance mode. And even if you don't use direct X12 shaders, you still want to make sure you keep this check. So after you do all of that, make sure you press apply and then it should verify your game files again. Now that was just the basics. So here's where the real stuff comes into play. You want to go back to these three dots click on manage and go to this little file tab right here then from here you want to go to fortnite game binaries win64 you want to scroll all the way down until you see fortnite client win64 shipping you want to right click on that go to properties go to compatibility and you want to click disable full screen optimization then you want to go to change high dpi settings and make sure this box is clicked right here. Now, for those of you who don't know, when you play Fortnite in full screen, it gives you less input delay. So by doing this right here, this will make sure that every time you load up Fortnite, it will always be in full screen. Now, I know some of you do have double movement and wooding on your keyboard, so I'm not too sure if this will mess any of that up. So if you don't wanna do that, you can go to your PC settings, go to display, then come down here to where it says graphic settings, and you want to make sure this is clicked right here. This will reduce latency and improve performance. So basically it won't just do that for Fortnite, but for your PC as a whole. You want to come down here and make sure this says desktop app, go to browse. Then you want to go to wherever you have your Fortnite saved, go to Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and make sure you have this right here selected. If you don't have Fortnite client Win64 shipping, if you don't have that selected, it won't work. And then press add. And then for even more of a boost, click on it, Go to options and make sure this says high performance. Basically what this is gonna do is gonna prioritize Fortnite over all the other games and anything else you may have open on your PC. Next, what you wanna do, you wanna open up a command prompt, run it as an administrator, and then type in this right here, SFC slash scan now. Then you wanna click enter and you're gonna notice that it's gonna run a scan on your entire PC. Basically what this is doing is make sure you don't have any corrupted game files that you don't already know about. Depending on your PC, the scan could take a little while, and if it does find any corrupted game files, all it's going to do is repair them. Then once your PC has finished the scan, you want to go back to your command prompt, run it as an administrator, and copy and paste this from the link in the description. Then you want to type in the search bar, edit power plan. Then you want to go to your power options and select ultimate performance. This could be the main reason why your PC is underperforming and you feel like you're getting so many stutters and frame drops. So after you do this, you want to make sure you restart your PC and then open up Fortnite. So this next tip is for those of you who have really, really bad PCs. You want to open up your Discord, scroll down to where it says Advance. You want to turn off hardware acceleration. Basically what this does is it uses your GPU to make Discord run smoother. And it literally says turn this off if you are experiencing frame drop. So once you load up Fortnite, you might notice your game looks a little bit different. Don't worry, it's supposed to. And if it changed your rendering mode, don't worry, it's also supposed to. So just put it back on performance mode. But make sure you copy all of these settings right here. Now, I do have my view distance on far and my textures on medium, just so it looks better when I'm recording, but you should have it all the way turned down. Then you want to go a few tabs over and where it says extra game options, you want to have all of these turned off. These are just extra stuff that you have running in the background that you don't need. Then of course you want to have your replays turned off. You could turn on sleep mode. I don't think it really makes a difference, but these two right here, you definitely want to have these turned off. Then all these gyro aiming options, you want to have all these turned to the lowest possible because again, it's just extra stuff running in the background that you don't need. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you boys did enjoy. Make sure you drop a like down below and comment if these tips did help you. But it's winter. I'm out. Peace.